What a smart rapper. Today we have another great question. He asks, how do you stay consistent even when the motivation isn't there? And I'm gonna give you some really honest information here. Oh. We're gonna talk about that right after the intro. I'm Rob Level, this is smartrapper.com and you're gonna get smarter and more motivated after the intro. The people who become super successful are people who stay and keep themselves motivated in some way, shape, or form, even when they feel like there's no way for them to stay motivated, right? It's all about your mindset and believing that you know you're gonna reach that level if you just keep working for it. You have to, like, dude, I, I might as well bring you into it because you're already sitting here anyways, though. What's the conversation we had last night when you're like, how did you stay consistent? Like, what kept you going all those years? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like, you've been through so much shit that it just blows my mind how you hung on to the dream and no matter what happened, you just kept doing it, kept doing it. You just got to keep doing it, keep doing it. Put that in quotations, that's Jared. That's Jared. It's gonna go quotations, go Jared. Keep doing it, keep doing it. <laughs> but it's true, it's like, no matter what, because I've been through like, complete shit failure, 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 failure. Life shit on me so many fucking times and nobody believed on me. When he asked me the question, I didn't even know the fucking answer. Because I just, I was like, I don't know, I just, I just kept doing it. And what was my, actually, no, that's what my answer was. It was like, look, it was like people shit on me because I didn't have anybody to love me as a kid, so I never got emotionally attached to somebody. I could never had a kid. I didn't get into a relationship where I was so serious about the person because it was hard for me to love people. It's a little deep and stupid, but the, my reasoning for it was, I was like, look, I was never able to become complacent. A lot of times, you'll get in a relationship with someone, have a kid, and then, and then you'll just give up. You'll be like, that's, that's not the dream for me, I'm just gonna be a dad and just not chase my dream. That's often what happens. And it's like I never allowed myself to be in a complacent place. Anytime a girlfriend was like, I want you to quit doing this, well, it was mostly because she was jealous that other girls would talk to me from it, not because I wasn't able to do it. But I was like, I, I was like, bye, I got rid of the girlfriend. Because I was like, no, like you're not slowing me down. I could feel them like pulling it like my destiny. If you want to be anything, it doesn't have to just be rapper, you have to chase it. You have to find reasons to motivate yourself. I'm gonna talk about a couple of ways that you can motivate yourself now after this long-winded talk I just gave. Keep doing it. <laughs> Keep doing it, doing it. It's gonna pop up on the screen. It's gonna be, it's gonna be you. It's gonna be like you like this. It's gonna say, keep doing it, keep doing it. <laughs> I swear you think, I'm, you think I'm joking, I'm gonna put it right on the screen. You really gotta find things that are gonna trigger you to work, okay? Um, and one, one of the ways to do that is, is to find things that you're scared of. What is gonna, if you fail, what is the fear? Like what happens if you fail? Use the fear of what will happen if you don't work your ass off. Like think about it, if you wanna do this, and you don't work your ass off to get there, you're gonna be some dude delivering pizzas at 34 years old. You're gonna be some dude delivering bread at 34 years old. You're gonna be somebody who people laugh at because you attempted it but you didn't work your ass off hard enough or you didn't keep sticking with it to make it, right? You gotta work around obstacles. You have to find reasons to motivate yourself. You could use fear to drive you. You could use the way people are gonna talk about you as a fear thing like, look, I'm gonna show them. That, that's a huge thing for me. It's like, I'm gonna show you. Don't believe me? Watch me, bitch. I'm a shit on, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm woo way past, I'm way past anybody who ever talks shit about me. And all those people, now they come back in my DMs, they're like, hey man, good, hey, you long, seen a long time? I'm like, yeah, for a reason, it's like, yeah. Like, there's no, like, I, <laughs> anybody who's negative, get them out of your life. This is something massive, I always tell everybody, avoid the unlucky and the unhappy. It also goes back to anybody who's negative, anybody who's negative, or is gonna drain on your energy, or is gonna like, pull you away from what your goals and dreams are, get rid of them. If they're not helping you, get rid of them. And it's like almost like, I can't just get rid of them. Yeah, you can. You really can. Anybody who's not gonna help you move forward or believe in you to move forward, then get rid of them. People need to believe in you. Because if you don't surround yourself with people that believe in you, it's gonna be very complicated to believe in yourself. Okay, it's gonna be really hard to believe I can do this if everybody around you is like, you can't do that. It's, it's a common sense. As far as like motivation, if you don't find a way to get rid of your lazy habits, you're never gonna work. If you have a habit of playing video games all day long because it's just relaxing and easy to do, you're gonna tell yourself that you're not motivated to work on music because you're in a habit of playing video games all day. 
You don't think I'd rather play video games all day? I love playing video games, bitch. I'd rather play video games all motherfucking day, but I don't because I made a habit to not do it. I uninstalled all the games from my computer. I deleted them and then I blocked the, IP, the website address so that I'd have to unblock it and do a whole gang of shit before I could even get to the game because I was so addicted to the game. Okay, so don't act like I'm that, I've been there, <laughs> okay? And the way that I got over it was doing what I just said. If you have bad habits for other things, you're not gonna be able to motivate yourself to do the things. If you wanna write more music, stop doing the things that isn't writing music. Stop wasting time on Facebook. Stop wasting time on Twitter or YouTube. Like, stop doing those things and go fucking write. Come on! Okay, there's no excuse. Motivate yourself by telling yourself, you the other way is to look at like, what do you want to accomplish? What are the things that you can, you're gonna have when you finally make it? The respect, the success, the material items, uh, the fact that you can inspire people, whatever it is to you that makes that, if you feel like it's important to you, use those things to motivate yourself. And if you can't really find a reason to motivate yourself, then you may not really want it. That's really how it is. If you want it, you're gonna work for it. It's really that simple. If you don't want it, you won't work for it. That, that, that line, of, I sh that should just be the whole video. The whole video should just been, if you want it, you're gonna work for it. If you don't, well, you should go do something else. Maybe it's not for you. It's gonna take you a long time, but you gotta be, you gotta be ready to work, stick it out and work for it. Lastly, build good habits that, like a routine. Let's say I'm gonna write at, at, for 15 minutes every day at 3 p.m. All right, or, and this way you get into the habits, like every day at 3 p.m. you're writing for 15 minutes, and now suddenly you're writing for 30 minutes, now suddenly you're writing for an hour, now suddenly you could write any time of the day because you already like writing and you've gotten to this mode and this habit of writing. So motivating yourself is really about getting into the habit of understanding how to motivate yourself. You have to know yourself, get used to what is dragging you down, get rid of it, whether it's games, girls, bad friends, shitty family members, or a dog who's humping your leg, whatever it is, get rid of it, get off my leg, no, just get, it's like whatever it is get rid of it so that you can focus and you can find a way to be motivated because it could be external but at the same time they're just a small piece of it at the end of the day you are responsible for every action that you take if you're not working on something you can't blame other people I just blame them for dragging down your mindset but you can still work past anything because some people are stuck in a place where their parents suck or their brother sucks or you have negative people in general you can still work around those things if you can't get rid of those people okay there's people in prison that are, are more positive than you are and they're sitting in prison because they knew they had to adjust their mindset to survive. And that's what you need to do as well. All right, I'm done talking yet. I'm Rob Level, this is SmartRapper.com. You just became a little bit smarter. Um, hit me with a comment, hit me with a like, hit me with a subscribe, and when you do, hit the little bell button because it's gonna notify you every time I release a new video so you become a smarter rapper. I'm gonna see you guys again tomorrow because I release a video every day. But until then, here's some other videos. Trying to make my